Well, hello, soul family, beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or a lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our weekly goddess energy. So, yes, I am super excited for this week's, well, I'm excited for every week's goddess just because, yeah. Like, I've been, yeah, I'm just excited because I love this book. So, yeah, let's tune into Today's Goddess. So, the book is Your Goddess Year by Sky Alexander, a week-by-week -week, week -week guide to invoking the divine feminine. So, this week's goddess is Aurora. So, Let's tune in to the energy of February 1st and foremost, Saraswati, um, and then we will come back to Aurora. So, here we go. With the lengthening days, which distinguish the third month of winter from its predecessor, come ardent desires for spring and longing for the time of birds and flowers. Oscar Faye Adams, American author and editor. February. Although winter still holds part of the earth in its frozen grip, hope and anticipation have begun stirring within us. This month, the goddesses Saraswati, Lilith, Nit, and Aurora sing promises of creativity, sensuality, and the renewal that is sure to come. You'll meet them here and hear their stories of self-expression, ingenuity, and inspiration. If you're experiencing challenges or frustration, if you seek more freedom or knowledge, let them show you how to trust yourself and let your light shine bright. All right. And the last goddess of February is Aurora. So I love that name. I love that name. So much. Um, that is uh, Sleeping Beauty's name. <laughs> if you watch um, any Disney movies, yes, Aurora. She was Princess Aurora. And yeah, and of course, it makes me think of the Aurora Borealis, the, you know, Northern, Northern Lights. So yeah, I just love the name. It's fun to say. <laughs> okay. Dates for inviting her, February 26th through March 4th. Also known as the goddess of the dawn, Aurora personifies hope and new beginnings. This Roman goddess's name means dawn or sunrise in Latin. Therefore, as the days grow longer and the promise of spring is in the air, we look this week to Aurora to dispel darkness and shine her rosy light on our endeavors. Her story. Mythology presents Aurora as a beautiful young goddess who arises before anyone else and wakes up her brother, Sol, meaning sun, so he can light up the world. She's said to open the gate to heaven each morning and then ride her golden horse-drawn chariot across the sky. Sometimes Aurora is described as wearing a fuchsia cloak which colors the morning sky at dawn. Other images show her dressed in pink and gold, bedecked with, bedecked with flowers. Because she reawakens each day, the goddess symbolizes renewal and eternal youth. Not surprisingly, the, gor the gorgeous Aurora attracted the attention of many gods, including Mars. This didn't sit well with his jealous lover, Venus, however, and she decided to get revenge. She cast a spell on Aurora that made her fall in love, or at least lust, with mortal men. According to one story, she married a handsome young man named Tithon oh wait, Tithonus? Yeah, Tithonus. Goddesses are immortal, and Aurora feared the inevitable death of her human husband. She asked the top god Jupiter to let Tithonus live forever, but she neglected to specify that he remain young forever. A classic case of be careful what you ask for. 
As the years passed, Tithonus grew ancient, withered, and decrepit. Saddened by his pathetic state, Aurora pleaded with Jupiter to end Tithonus' suffering. The god turned him into a cicada, and now at dawn, he chirps his greeting to the goddess. Gosh. The stories are never just good. They always have to have some, like, darkness. Have you ever noticed that? That none of these gods and goddesses are just ever peaceful. There's always has to be a dark element to it. And so I look forward to the day when we truly, like, <laughs> shift into the light and tune back into the goddesses and the gods and goddesses and the energies of full light. Like, yeah. So anyways, <laughs> symbols and correspondences. Legend says the precious golden herb saffron was sacred to Aurora. She was also fond of all flowers, but especially roses. The Roman poet Ovid credited her with creating dew from her tears. Aurora bears a strong resemblance to the Greeks Eos because the ancient Romans often grafted their deities onto older ones. Sometimes they combine Aurora with an earlier local goddess, Mater Matuta, who governed childbirth and protected children. In the 6th century BCE, Aurora's temple was built in a special area of Rome's Forum, where a number of temples dedicated to various deities once stood. There, mothers worshipped Aurora and petitioned her to guard their children, thanking her with offerings of sacred cakes called Testua, Testuasia. Wait, Te, yeah, Testuasia. Cute. More words that are fun to say. <laughs> Where to seek her. At the break of dawn, look to the east and watch as the sky shifts from deep purple to pink. Some myths say Aurora's colors, Aurora colors the sky by donning, wait, by drawing <laughs> her rosy fingers across it. As the goddess wakes up the world, she'll shed light on you and bring you hope. Reasons to invite her. Are you hoping for a new dawn after a period of difficulty? Aurora reminds us that darkness doesn't last forever and shows the way to brighter days ahead. Dawn's pure light chases away shadows, enabling you to see matters more clearly. The goddess also helps you awaken to your potential, to rise and shine, and face each day with the optimism of youth. She encourages you to try something new, perhaps a new, a, a, perhaps a new romance, a new job, or a new place to live. Whatever you embark on, summon the goddess to illuminate your path. How to invite her. The lovely Aurora had no trouble attracting lo lovers divine and mortal. If you seek a new romantic partner, ask her to help you bring the person who's right for you in every way. You can also summon Aurora to attract anything you'll love, such as a fulfilling job or the perfect pet. You'll need a piece of pink paper, a pen, pencil, or marker that writes red ink, scissors, two dark pink rose petals, a pinch of saffron, transparent adhesive tape. One, rise at dawn. Two, on the pink paper, draw a heart with your red pen pencil marker and then cut it out. Three, write your intention on the paper heart, stating the outcome you seek in a positive way. As you, as you work, envision your wish coming true and sense Aurora helping you to achieve your heart's desire. 4. Lay the rose petals and saffron, an herb long associated with the sun's life-giving power, in the center of the paper heart, then fold it closed and secure it with tape. 5. Sleep with the heart under your pillow each night this week, then store it in a safe place. So, yeah.
that is the goddess Aurora and how to invite her, reasons to invite her, and her story. So that's beautiful. So friends, if you are feeling guided to invite Aurora into your life at this time, then that that is how you can do it. So I want to thank you all for tuning into this beautiful reading. I hope you all found something that you resonate with. And if you did, then please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. So thank you so very much once again. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one.